Welcome to the mischief. I'm Balin, and this is Sky Factory 2.5. All right, folks. I know it's been a little bit longer than uh, usual. Uh, I shall we say. Um, I, I think some of you might have seen my uh, vlog by this point, and you realize that uh, I was ill. <laughs> I was a little bit sick, but uh, that that's that's over and done with. I am on the mend, and things are back to where they should be at least. Um, I'm hoping to get maybe a little bit ahead. I, I doubt it though. I doubt it. <laughs> we'll see how things go. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Uh, so I, I'm sure you notice that there's a little, little change at least here. Now I did try the, uh, the double clay blocks and a player head, uh, but it, it didn't really work for uh, you guys. It it seems to work okay for the, the heads that drop in this uh, mod pack, but when I spawn in player heads like this doesn't quite work the way uh, as expected so instead I have opted to at least put your head in place on top of a gold block from my own wares I have not spawned in the gold blocks I have I, I have taken this out of my my inventory down there um, but then we we've got Robin there and we have the dude rocks and they have their little uh, player heads there so that's that's pretty cool you know all right nice uh, and those that's because the uh, the requirement for those that may have missed it in the past has been reduced to 15 emoticons or just three rows will get you your uh, your own gold block and player head so hopefully you guys don't exhaust my uh, my gold wares too too quickly <laughs> uh, now I, I could replace it with copper if you guys really want because that's kind of pretty as well but um yeah and this is a, a chiseled version because I thought that would look uh, a little bit nicer so getting into the comments, uh, top three for this episode, uh, we have to start off with Captain Spud 99. There we go. You have two. Let me add one on here. And let's bring it back a little bit so it's a little more centered. There. Captain Spud 99 uh, had suggested that I take a player head, uh, like these you see here, and uh, place it in the, uh, the block, the uh, travel anchor for the comments section, which I thought that was an awesome idea. Uh, and when, as soon as I put that in there, there was a slight problem with the travel anchor. Um, it, it it reverses the player head, so you're looking at the back of the player head, which, you know... So, like, in this case, you see black. If I, if I put my uh, character in there, uh, you see... Um, let's see, where is it? There we go. The, you'd, you'd see... Well, you don't see it there, but... <laughs> because <laughs> I'm wearing a helmet, but you, it just turns out green no matter what angle you look at it. So it, it didn't work out the way I thought it would, but uh, I, I wanted to do that. So I'm, I'm giving you an emoticon for that one. But instead, what I have on there is a signboard. I figured that would make, that made sense for the comments area. So there we go. That was, that's really cool. Uh, another one was uh, right next to Captain Spud, Wizard 1399. Let me uh, add one on your next row. Look at this. Look at this. A next row. Somebody's already on their well on their way to the uh, the next their their next gold block here. Um, and that that was for uh, a trash can suggestion. And this worked out really well. And you see here, I have a trash can. In this trash can, I have an advanced item filter. And you see here, it says filter program durability bar shown dot exe. There's a reason for that. Uh, this this is really, really good. Oh, I forgot I've got my magnet on. <laughs> uh, so the idea is that I get items clogging up back here. And uh, last episode... Oh, I, I forgot I could teleport out here. Um, last episode, you guys saw that there was all sorts of junk. Oh, and I got those that pop in here with durability bars. Yay. <laughs> well, uh, if you notice that uh, I have worn out loot bag and a couple of uh, durability bar items that I don't want. I just don't want them at all. I know that they have some enchantments on them. I could feasibly strip the enchants off, but I, I have ways of getting the enchants as well if I really wanted to. So what I'm thinking is that I take a uh, this trash can with this filter and therefore put it on here. And obviously it's going to just start dumping things in there, uh, but yeah, there's no mobs in there at the moment. So I'm going to put this filter in place. And it will only throw away things with a durability bar. To show this, I'm going to toss leather boots. And they go in there. They won't show up down there. But on top of that, I'm also going to toss out the worn out loot bag. Which is going to get sucked in as well. And that goes in. And it's not going to get sucked up. 
because the this is a common loot bag. The worn out loot bag always has cake in it. And you can see, oh, what, what, what the, wait a minute. Are those the same boots? That, that didn't work the way I thought it would. What the heck, I tested this earlier. <laughs> well, let's try it again. I'll toss that in, toss that in, and it, it, one would think, worn out loot bag. Yeah, you, you, you're gonna go. Is there, like, multiple items? Was there already an item in there? Yes. Okay. So I still have a golden helmet. I'm going to ditch the golden helmet. So there was items already in there, my bad, uh, I, that were still filtering out because I did not have the, uh, the trash can in place. I should have checked that before I started this uh, so you guys could see. But there you go. So no more items, even though it will take a, a moment or so for it to get down here and then get fed in. But there aren't any more items with durability bars that will show up. Um, I do have this this darn thing here, though. Let's see. the These here. No, they, they're all coming in the potato. That was... That was a... There's a one of of the potato. And I keep getting worn out loot bags, so I'm going to toss those in there. I, I doubt that this potato will ever, ever come back. We shall see. Let's uh, see if I can fly up here and throw the potato away. There we go. Bye, potato. Uh, so that should helpfully take care of my uh, my issues. That that was a very simple solution. Uh, and as it turns out, you could. That was an advanced uh, filter, by the way. Let's. Uh, for those that are curious, I it which it's just a regular filter, surrounded by some lapis on the outside edge, and then you just right click it in the air, and it uh, goes through all these different modes that you can set it for. Uh, on top of that, wizard was telling me that uh, you can take a regular item filter. And you can nest it, as it says here, filters can be placed within other filters to create advanced behaviors. So you could have a filter with more filters in it, because you saw before when uh, you use a filter that it only has about like uh, eight or nine slots in it or something. So you can put multiple filters inside filters to get to even more stuff specifically tailored to it. So that was two out of the three. Now the third one is going to go to Kendall Silver. Kendall here uh, did the wonderful thing of uh, let's let's kind of space this out. There we go. Uh, the wonderful thing of uh, giving me some of the basics of uh, an ME system from uh, Applied Energistics. Now, keep in mind, I've never done anything with Applied Energistics. Nothing. I I know how to find what some of the items are you know like obviously type in applied energistics i can see all this stuff uh but he was suggesting i use a certis quartz knife and i obtain a few uh certain items and uh those items would require of course uh some nether quartz for me to uh, craft a bunch of those and for that to happen i'll need to take care of some soul sand so yeah uh, i i do plan on working on that uh so what I did is I, I kind of set this up, and as, as I have a little bit of sand in my inventory, I, or at least I did before, I would come down here and just click on this while I was working on some other projects, and I got myself a bit of uh, Certus Quartz. So, uh, I gotta remember to use the uh, the wand. But, did I, did I put it in here? I, th I think, no? It's not in there? Huh, what did I do with Certus Quartz? Did I put it in here? So anyway, I don't know where it went. And it wasn't Surgis Quartz I was talking about, it was Nether Quartz. Uh, I, I filtered out a bunch, I, I had about a half a stack, um, maybe I used it. Uh, in fact, I, I can't remember if I did. But, uh, the, yeah, uh, I will need that for some of the, uh, ME items. Oh, I remember what I did with it now. I put it over here, with the, uh, the block of quartz so I can make my QED that I had planned on making before. Which... If anybody can remind me, why did I say I wanted to make a QED? I don't remember. Was it a magnum torch? Because that would be kind of silly with the fact that I need a mob farm now that I think about it. But I could still use the QED for other items, I guess. Um, but uh, I have in here some other projects. Moving on from comments now, getting into just normal projects. Uh, Soul Sand. Obviously I can make with that uh, witch water setup that I had down there. Some Crucio Essence and some Minicio Seeds makes other seats. Now I already had one over here and uh, I figured all right I will place down another one. Now I have my watering can. You can see that the watering can it doesn't really it like doubles the blue particles but it will uh, help speed these things to grow and there you go we've got a little bit of uh, another essence there which I can just harvest this. Regrettably I only get one from that but hey it's better than none. 
And I could just sit here and water this all day and get my next, uh, next, uh, get a bunch of this nether essence. I guess that's what it's called. Yes, nether essence. But uh, that's not what I'm going to do. Now, I was just showing you guys that I've got this started. The reason I've got this started is because this is the next level tier. Um, and I figured I would go for the nether essence just so I could make nether rack and soul sand in a via uh, uh, magic crops method so that I can uh, make uh, no not that well yes so if, so that I can make soul sand if I want to not the enchanted books but there we go a strong infusion stone now there is multiple recipes you can use for this you know cow pig whatever essence but I figured the most useful essence I could come up with right now would be the uh, nether essence and uh, that's what I figured I would go for so that I can make the strong one and I can get to the next level and the reason for that is because of <gasps> that's right achievements oh my gosh I haven't been doing any achievements there are so many in here uh, there's a bunch that I probably have completed uh, but what I'm trying to do is craft an iron seed and then a diamond seed and I need stronger infusion stones for that So that's why I have that I am gonna look into growing growth or in making growth pulsers to speed up crop growth though That sounds interesting uh, and of course is a visio infused armor that that's gonna be a bit more end end gamey there fly Hey Completed use an angel block and your ability to fly to start a new island somewhere else. Hey, guess what? I've had an angel block forever or at least that's what it seems like. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I might as well grab something here. Let's, let's grab a, a piece of cobblestone. And I am going to... Yeah, yeah my jetpack is my jet pack is alright. Um, I'm going to get a running start. And we're going to fly off a bit into the distance and see if I can escape this plains biome. Uh, I don't know. I... Uh, just to give you an idea, a perspective. Oh, there we go. I'm over ocean. Ooh. Wait, before that, I swear I saw something else. Was it, was it like ocean edge or... Oh, extreme hills. Yes, please. This sounds perfect. So we're just going to drop down a bit so that we're about level. There we go. And then there. I'm going to place that. Place that down. And this, I think, constitutes an island to me. Yes. Yes, indeed, I think it does. So uh, there we go. That is now in Extreme Hills, which that's also going to spawn mobs. <laughs> I, <laughs> I did not bring any torches. Oh, no. When I go back, it's just going to be like swarmed with mobs or something. Um, do, do I have any torches in here? Tell me I've got a torch in here. Where did I put all the torches? Oh, my gosh. Oh, I need a light source of some sort. It's the simple things. Uh, there's a redstone torch that... Oh, there we go. Regular torch. One of those. This should do. Is it can? There's no mobs. Or did they spawn and they just haven't shown up on my screen yet? No, there's no mobs. Okay. I am fortunate. Very fortunate. Let's... Wait, there we go. All right. Just landed. And now, to get back into the achievement book, use an angel block and your ability to fly to start a new island somewhere else. Done. Da, 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 da. Plant a flower in five different biomes. Well, hey, I'm in plains. I think these count as flowers of a sort. Uh, so that would be one. There would be extreme hills right there. And I could go into the ocean just over there, which would be two. Or that would be three. That that could be really easy. Um, I might I might do that today. We'll see. Travel to the nether. Hmm. Hmm. Use a diamond dolly to bring home five blaze spawners. That could be interesting as well. Kill a wither. Travel to the deep dark, travel to the end, kill the under dragon. Okay, maybe we're getting ahead of ourselves there. So, yeah, hatch a dragon egg and trade it. Use energy conduits to power several machines at once. I think that is completed. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Allow me to make sure. Mm, yes. Okay. Completed. <laughs> For sure. Um, automate crop harvesting. Okay, not yet. I know. I know. I've. You're all going to, like, kill me at some point. Link and enter pouch to another chest. Not yet. Craft a chunk loader, not yet. Apply to energetic systems, store your things. Get close. Craft slash use an ender quarry, not yet, because uh, I'm going to want to go into another dimension for that. Uh, storage of ore dust from an automatic sieve. Oh, hey, wait a second. Got that set. Process sieve materials to ingots. Hmm, not yet. I mean, I, I could feasibly set that up, but I, I don't have that set up. Then we got the age of power. 
create a passively cooled reactor from big reactors, which I do love that mod. It's a lot of fun. But uh, I think I need to uh, finish upgrading the rest of this setup down here to uh, the compacted everything before I go, whoops, before I go that far. Um, and then it's got a whole bunch more uh, reactor items in here. <laughs> Produce a thousand RF per tick. That's actually not going to be very difficult for uh, big reactors. But uh, craft an iron wand and use it on a bookcase to make a thaumonomicon. And we've got all the magic stuff going on here for uh, thaumaturgy. Uh, we're not going to be doing that today. Uh, mastery, yeah, <laughs> not, not going to be doing that. Age of the botanist. Then we've got the uh, botani botania uh, version with uh, the mastery of that age of the witch which of course is witchery boy we've got so much stuff in here draconic armor and whatnot um make a draconic chest age of insanity oh boy. wow lots lots of stuff 100 you've completed 100 percent of the achievement listed what achievements can you come up with no i don't think so but we do have some stuff that i could uh, try to accommodate um that being uh the crop harvesting and plant a flower in five different biomes, uh, which I'm not going to do that yet. I'm not going to do that until I can uh, improve my jetpack ability further. What I'm thinking is um, potentially with a, uh, uh, a, um, a what do you call it, um, a hang glider, which I think would be a lot of fun. I could just use leather, um, you know, or, you know, zombie flesh turned into leather, whatever. Uh, but... Uh, in, I could also use the uh, the backpack options for dark steel helmet or dark steel armor, which I think could be a lot of fun as well. Uh, so I don't know what you guys might think of. I mean, obviously, no, I don't want to do end game stuff yet because, well, I don't have like draconic anything yet. Uh, I don't have Zavikio. I can barely make a a strong. Um, one of these infusion stones uh, which is what I'm working towards right now so if you guys have another suggestion for uh, the best method to fly around or if you think just with my uh, th tier 3 jetpack and uh, uh, hang glider I should be good then hey let me know what you think uh, I would I would be uh, interested to hear so um, let's get into a little bit of uh, making something here I know that I wanted to make the uh whoops the qed and you know what i'm just gonna make it so i can have it done and then we can we can work on something else which i realize that there's more to just this it, it needs the uh, the little uh add-on parts to make it but uh, i think i have the under infused obsidian this that i just needed more of the uh quartz and i believe i needed to have that be burned quartz which one two whoops three so I just need to smelt these and I should be good hey there we go I remembered to teleport that time um, that's not the right device that's not the right device no that was the right device <laughs> put that in there all smelting it should cook it up pretty quickly and then I'll be right back yep guess what I did I made fused quartz instead I'm sure I can use that for a few other things though um, mm, reinforced caches pressurized fluid conduits uh, yeah there's plenty of ender IO stuff that I could use that on at least so it's not entirely wasted <laughs> I, I forgot that I had it in uh, all all smelting mode so I'm sure that at least one of you, if not more, were uh, face palming as I was placing that stuff in there. Uh, I didn't realize mis my mistake until after the first three came out and then the last one was already in place. But that's all right. I have my burnt quartz, which I maybe I only need three. No, I, I've, I've got four. Okay, cool. So let me grab this table. Oh, look, pulsating iron nuggets that I left in there. That's, that's kind of convenient. Uh, let's see, one of those and see if we can actually make this. Hey, got it. All set and squared away. I now have my QED, which, you know, hmm, where should I place this thing? I'm kind of thinking maybe, maybe I just kind of place it here in the middle. And then we uh, put the uh, other parts to it around it as I make those. But uh, I'm not going to make those right now. I'll make them a little bit later. And let's see, I'm going to go up here and drop off this 
in there. Might as well put that in there too. Yes, I, I realize it is just like jam-packed, chock-a-block full, but we'll be working on the uh, AE stuff soon. So, uh, first thing I think I'm going to make is I'm going to actually make a few of the AE items, and then uh, hopefully you guys will tell me how this stuff all goes together. Um, from what Kendall was telling me, I am in need of an ME drive. So let's look that up. We have here an ME drive, which uh, is requiring a lot of interesting things. I'm going to need Certus Quartz Cutting Knife, which is sticks, Certus Quartz, and iron to start off. <laughs> All right, well, I have Certus Quartz. We have eight stacks here and plenty more over there. So let's just take, uh, wait, was that eight stacks? Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. I was looking at Certus Quartz dust. Whoops, oh well, that's all right. I don't think I'll need that many anyway. Um, so what, I've got four here. That works. Uh, and I'll need a couple sticks and some iron. I don't know if I have any iron, let's see. Yep, I got some iron. I should be good to go. <laughs> all right, let's make this there. And we'll just leave, wait a minute. I thought that was, oh, these are charged Certus Quartz. Whoopsie, I don't want those. I want the regular Certus Quartz. So let me get back here and put those in there instead. There we go. And I know I only need those, but hey, might as well just grab them all there. So to make one of these, redstone, diamond, and silicon. All right, I forgot, silicon was nether quartz. Certus Quartz dust. Hey, hey, guess what I've got a bunch of? Oh, that's right, I've got a bunch of silicon. Uh, I've only got four. So let's take, this is what I've got a whole lot of. So I'm going to grab a stack of these and make, oh, what am I doing trying to fly over there? I should just teleport. And then start smelting a bunch of this up into silicon. Perfect, be back once I've got a bunch more. All right, I think that should do it for the moment. I'll leave this to smelt the rest of it, uh, and then we can get back up to crafting some stuff and some things. Uh, all right, so what else do we need for making this? And that's redstone diamonds. Oh, I forgot the diamonds. It's all right, we can teleport. Uh, let's see, diamond, diamond, diamond. Let's just take a good 10 of those, because why not? And redstone, I've got redstone down here too. There we are. We'll just take a stack. Yes, I have a stack. All right. I can never remember if it's shift click or just click, but yeah, we've got it. We've got it. All right. And step one is complete. Oh, good. And it just used up a little bit of it. So that means I can keep using that. All right. Well, I have a feeling I'm going to need a bunch more of those. In fact, I'm pretty sure that I will, because there's at least two of those in place. So I'm going to need another one. Let's see here. I'm going to need redstone, redstone, silicon, and diamond. There we go. And what else are we going to need for these? Quartz fiber. That's going to be dust and glass. Oh, that's not that bad, because I've got a whole lot of glass. Look at this. I've got glass of the yin-yang here. I might even uh, turn it into normal glass if I can find my... There it is. Uh, my chisel. And turn this quite clear glass into regular glass. Just because I can, and I don't really care <laughs> if it uses the durability on that chisel. Uh, all right. Let's check out this recipe again. Uh, so to make these guys quartz fibers, I'm going to need this. And I think, oh, I thought that I had enough for that. Oh, that's right. I took a stack of the uh, dust out, but I didn't. I left it in the uh, furnace smelting. So let's try that again. There we go. And I've got, let me make, hmm, I'm gonna make a half a stack. Uh, 30, well, close to have a stack. 33, yeah, that, that's going to use it all up. That's that's perfectly fine. And then I'm going to need the uh, Fluix crystals, which I, I think I've got some of those. Because i got a bunch in here. Let's see, Fluix crystal, I've got one in there. But I think I just teleported downstairs. That was, or teleported straight over. That was great. I've got some of these loot bags here. 
There we go. Flux crystals. Perfect. Uh, don't worry, I'm not gonna use all of them. Uh, just in case I need them for uh, other stuff, but uh, I am going to use them to make at least two ME glass cables. So let's see here. Oh, cool. I just need it for four then, and I will save the rest for now. In fact, what I'm going to do is make an ME chest because I'm concerned that with all the stuff that I have going on at the moment, I'm going to run out of space. So see, quartz, diamond, this, that, the other thing, all sorts of little bits and pieces that I'm going to need and I don't want to lose because my inventory is going to overflow as well, uh, especially since, whoops, I've got uh, things like this in here and I've got those nuggets as well. Get get in, get in there. Yeah, it's 99 out of 100. Oh, not much space left. I really don't want to upgrade or make another one. So, um, See, I need to smelt a couple of these, which, hey, guess what I've got? I've got furnaces that are going to do that for me. Boom. And they're really fast because <laughs> they're Crucio furnaces. And look, it, it's still got a ton of stuff that it can make. Um, all right. All right. Uh, iron and the glass cable. Let me grab that cable then. One, two. And did I have... I have one iron in there. All right. Let's get a little bit more. Iron. Two, three... There we go, and that should be enough now to make an ME drive. Look at that. Awesome. All right, putting this in the chest. Next thing is some storage cells. All right, storage cells. Oh boy, what kind? Creative? No, I, I don't think I'm going to make a creative storage cell. 1K, 4K, 16, 64. Spatial storage cells. Wow. Okay. Creative Essentia. No, I'm not making Essentia ones because we're not doing that yet. Inverter card, fuzzy card. So I think I should start off with probably the simple ones. Uh, let's see. Oh, look. Quartz glass. Oh, that's not made how I thought it was. Okay, I was thinking it was a different kind of stuff. That's that's not bad at all, actually. I've got all these stacks of quartz dust. Yeah, stacks of quartz dust that I should be uh, good to go. Well, in fact, let's see, 1K is made with that and those. Okay, regular ones, logic processor, which is a printed logic circuit, which isn't that bad either. What about a 4K? Is that, oh wow, <laughs> three of the 1K. All right, all right, yeah, that's, that's interesting. I could probably make a whole bunch of these printed logic circuits because they're just gold, redstone, and more silicon. Right? Right? I figure that's a good way to go. Uh, and then I could go straight to 4K because I like jumping into the middle tier sometimes. Let's see. Gold. I've got a bit of that, though I have been using it for player heads. So, or for, <laughs> for putting player heads on from above. But uh, we'll see here. Let's see. 4K. Uh, Gonna knock one of those. And a bunch of these. So, recipe is as follows. This plus put a bunch of those in there. A bunch of those in there. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's make 12 of those and see how far that takes us. And then I'm going to need to smelt those up. Hmm. Yep, there we go. Crucio Furnace. Making short work of that. So, 4K cells. Uh, calculation processor. That's that was all just to get the logic processors. So let's see the um, the calculation processor, which is printed calculation. No, that's just the Certus Quartz. Well, that's not bad at all either. It looks like I'm going to need a bunch of those too. So I might just uh, do that. Where that? There it is. The knife go, and I'll need some of those regular crystals. Oh, that's right. They're in the my me chest. <laughs> I'll make uh, a few of those ones too. There we go. Let's make five for now. And that should be a good start. Can I grab out this from here? Yes, I can. Put those in, and those should smelt up in no time at all. Wow. This thing's pretty darn cool. <laughs> I like having this uh, little little manual furnace here. Just a little bit of charcoal makes, makes all, uh, a world of difference. All right. So then 4K ME cells... How do I make these things? Okay, so I just need those, those, and that. Yeah, that's right. I said those, those, and that. That's really specific of me. 
<laughs> I can't remember all the names of these things. But, oops, I just clicked the wrong thing. This. This. Alright, so I'm making these. Perfect. One, two, three. And actually, I can make two 4K storage cells. Oh, I'm totally doing it. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> and now I'm going to need the calculation processor, which I have here. Yep, 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 yep. So then 4K. What was it I needed more of those for? Six. I could do, could do four 4K storage units. Hmm. I might, I might be getting ahead of myself here. I'm, I'm going to take the temptation away and put those in there and take take some of that temptation away as well and then we're gonna move on from there all right so I need this in order to make this I'm going to need more wow more redstone I'm I'm surprised actually put that one away there we go 4k you guys have probably all done this like hundreds of times as well that was a quartz glass I need uh, let's see quartz glass I don't have all the ingredients for that because I took all the glass and put it in the chest. So, uh, I'm guessing that just about everybody has probably done these uh, uh, AE systems in the past. Oh, there's quite clear glass. What did I do with the regular glass? Probably already used it all. That's all right. I can just switch this out just because I can. Uh, so, this is kind of new to me. I'm I'm used to doing. Uh, something like logistics pipes or uh, just uh, uh, thumb, thumbcraft golem sorting, which is always a, a lot of fun, but it's very time consuming. Um, but uh, I'm curious. Oh, wow. You can make a whole lot of those. Uh, let's start with 24. Uh, I'm guessing that a lot of you people have done AE quite a lot because everybody seems to be asking for it. Let's see here. There's two of those, which is what I was making. Yep, they stack. All right. And then I wanted to do this. Quartz glass, I've got a bunch. Should have iron and redstone. No, I don't have the iron. That's all right. I have a bit stored in here. Let's just take a few blocks and keep it. Cause I, I don't think I had much left in here, did I? No, I took it out. Okay. I used it up. And there we go. Two 4K storage units. Achievement get. Just an achievement better than chests. All right. So I have two of those. Next, he was saying ME terminal or an ME crafting terminal. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try terminal and see what comes up. So we've got ME terminal, ME crafting terminal. You know what? Let's let's just do the crafting terminal. Oh, a calculation processor? Dull. Did I did I have any leftovers? No. No, I don't think I did. It's okay. I can make some more. Simple enough. Uh, that was this plus these. Plus there it is. And I think redstone. That wasn't it, was it? No. It was redstone on the sides. <laughs> And these at the bottom. There we go. Uh, let's make four of those. Because, yeah, I ran through the last set pretty quick. Uh, and then I will smelt those up as before. And then, let's see here. Crafting terminal. I'm going to need a crafting table. Hmm. Do I have any actually already made? Not there. Any in here? No. Surprising. Surprising. One, two, three, four. See if I can remember how to do this. All right, we're in luck. I am not totally out of it, though some might disagree. Oh, and I need to make an ME terminal. <laughs> okay, maybe I am totally out of it. <laughs> All right, I might as well grab those and then make the ME terminal as well, which I will need a logic processor for, but I think I have. Yes, I do, and oh look, I've got calculation processors as well. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I'm 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 getting there. Formation core, dark illuminated panel, bright illuminated pillow, illuminated panel, glowstone, quartz glass, redstone, and iron. Well, glowstone. I think I've got some already up here. Yeah, I I do. I've got the iron, and 
Let's see. I have the redstone. I have the quartz glass, so I should be all right for making that. There we go. Make those, and then I'll just clear that out. Um, so crafting terminal, regular terminal. So I've got this and that. Now I need the formation core and an annihilation core. <laughs> wow. Lots of crafting involved in this. Ooh, Fluix Dust. Huh. Do I have any Fluix Dust? Oh, I have 12 Fluix Dust. I'm going to take a bunch of the Fluix Dust. I, I wasn't expecting to have the Fluix Dust. I totally missed that I had that. And there's two formation cores. Oh, I'm going to need more of the um, those gold ones, the uh, logic processors. Might as well grab another one of those too. And then I need the Annihilation Core. Hey, glad I grabbed one. Wait a minute, what was that that I... What's this? Pure... Oh, Nether Quartz. Oh, Nether Quartz. That's right, I lost my Nether Quartz. <laughs> hey, guess what? I'm going to sieve some Nether Quartz right here. Oh, there's at least one piece. Uh, I might as well sieve a little bit more. Just sieve all four pieces and I should be good to go. There we go. And now I have... There we go. Five nether quartz. That's good. Terminal. Annihilation. And there we go. Two of those. I don't I don't think I'm going to need more than that, though. So, this. A ME terminal. And then I want to make the uh, crafting terminal. So, let's see if I can make that. Yes, I can. A, a much bigger table. Put that in here as well. In fact, I'm going to put all this stuff back in here because I'm, I'm starting to get my inventory overflow going on again. All right, next is ME glass cable is what I need to make more of, obviously, to uh, connect things with. So that does take the Fluix crystals and more of that quartz fiber. Hmm. That's weird. Oh, the Fluix version? What? What's the difference here? You can take water to it? That is really confusing. All right, well, still, um, where did I put them? Quartz fiber. And actually, I have the uh, Fluix crystals. Hmm, I'm just going to use a couple for now. I don't remember where I got those from. How did I... Is there a recipe for those? Um, yeah, of course, Fluix essence with magical crops. Um, another quartz, redstone, and certus quartz. Oh, well, that's not bad. So I can make more of these uh, without too much difficulty. And, of course, I can get them in loot bags. Um, I'll just make a few... Uh, for the moment. Um, let's see here. There we go. That's a start. Uh, at least something. Uh, I will have to obviously make a bunch more so that I can connect everything up. Uh, but on top of that, it was hook it all up to your energy grid via energy acceptor. Or have it off by itself. Energy acceptor. Oh, wow. Energy acceptor. Oh, glad that I saved some Fluix Crystals so I didn't have to make more. That's not too bad, though. I think I've already got all the ingredients on me. No, I dropped off the glass. Let's grab the glass. There we go. And that... Oh, I left the Fluix Crystal in there. One of those. There we go. Energy Acceptor. So, that in there, that in there, that in there. And then... Uh, originally, I should say that uh, uh, Kendall's uh, advice, which is w what I'm kind of following right now, uh, was in order to uh, grab all the drops from the uh, mob farm. But I find that the fact that I might be able to get a uh, just a better um, sorting system for now might just be good, and I can expand upon that. Um, but he's saying that uh, an ME import bus on it attached to the network via cable for the uh, the drops and stuff. Um, you know, I bet you I probably would need that anyway for something. Import bus. I mean, import bus. Ah, Essentia fluid, or Essentia fluid and regular, which, hey, Annihilation Core and a sticky piston. Ooh. Do I even have a slime ball? No, I, d I don't think I do. Aha. 
but I could make some. So that shouldn't be too bad. And I realize now that I'm, I'm getting a bit long in the uh, tooth here, as they say in olden days, um, with uh, <laughs> this episode. So um, I think that there is a little bit more I have to go. But as you can see, I have many of the items that I should have. Uh, at least uh, a crafting terminal, ME drive, a little bit of cable. I know I'm going to need a lot more, so I'm, I'm probably going to make a bunch of Fluix crystals in between some uh, storage units so that uh, I believe these things will store this stuff. Uh, an energy acceptor. So I am going to rely on you guys to explain to me how I actually make all these things work together. Uh, do I place them down? One goes into another. Uh, do I connect them into a central hub? Can they pull from any inventory? That kind of stuff. So yeah, the uh, top comments as usual. Uh, top three should be getting the uh, emoticons. I look forward to any help you guys can provide. Don't forget we have a Discord channel if you want to join in the chat or just check the Mischief of my uh, schedule that we now have set up in there. And... Uh, we also have our uh, Patreon if you choose to support us and our content. So until next time, folks, I'll see ya. <laughs>